Well, hello, Jason Lenneman. Welcome back to uh, another video, another negative video, because uh, this is like a weekly occurrence at this point. And uh, I'm just here to basically update you on the current situation, let you know what's going on, uh, what you can expect, the main sort of speculations we have currently, and uh, basically what will happen moving forward. So a lot of you guys have been asking, literally, uh, there was an announcement around 30 minutes ago, which is right here. A lot of you asking what it means. So I contacted one of the uh, workers directly, and she kind of gave me like a rough idea. Still really ambiguous. So from my understanding, they don't really want us to know everything they might be withdrawing information because obviously they're under investigation which would make perfect sense they might be withdrawing information to calm the users you know try to ensure that no one's tweaking out about anything too much but if you go into the general chat most people are basically just spamming a bunch of bullshit and uh just holding on to hope or asking if they're cooked which seems to be like the most popular phrase nowadays but yes if i just go and show you the message from kooky uh, who was a, a mod on the discord she has told us that the warehouse workers will start sorting goods on the 18th which is at the time of uploading this video pretty much already the 18th in China it should be but they won't start to sign they won't do QC's they won't pack and they won't do shipping and then she says or she said before that warehouse workers would start to process goods which means they will not start to work on the 18th specific assumption time please wait for notice so basically speaking Fiona's initial announcement about the fact that everything will be back to normal on the 18th uh, is incorrect obviously uh, she was too broad with her message and she gave us too much false hope and if you're wondering what that notification was it was this one what warehouse workers are expected to be back to work on the 18th like sure they are back to work uh, but do we really count this as, as you know full functioning full-fledged work no i wouldn't personally speaking all they're doing right now from my understanding from what one of the mods told me is sorting goods which means warehouse staff just back for the warehouse to check items it doesn't mean that the orders or parcels can be shipped so basically speaking from my understanding from this very broad message that she sent me the warehouse staff are going back to the warehouses to verify what is still there and what isn't there anymore and if you don't understand what i mean by that obviously they were under police investigation. Obviously, some items could have been taken. That is a possibility. That is a thing that many people believe in. And it would make perfect sense if the authorities are going into your warehouse and you're selling or shipping stuff that might not necessarily be allowed. Uh, it's going to be confiscated. It's going to be taken. From my understanding with this message, which says warehouse staff just back to warehouse check item, that pretty much to me means that they're just going to see and verify what is gone and what isn't gone. If one of your items are still there, if you've got any swoosh products, maybe if it is the swoosh company that is behind all this maybe all those products will be gone we don't know officially speaking which items are going to remain which items are potentially gone uh we don't know if you're losing anything even to begin with they could just be going to to make sure that the authorities didn't take anything because they might not know if they did uh so it could literally be you know one item could be missing in the whole warehouse could be the half of the warehouse is missing could be that it's only specific brands and items such as the swoosh company as i just said so all of these are definite possibilities it's hard to say what the re reality is because we just simply don't know i don't know any more than what they've told me and i'm being very transparent with what they're telling me i've been updating you guys as much as possible really um sending updates on the panel by announcements channel as well as on the normal announcements channel just my own takes on things and, and opinions i've also been sitting a lot on the general chat on the panel by discord server and trying to get like a hold of the situation but you guys are kind of rabid in here and it's very difficult to control the situation so far if we don't really know much so you know it's hard to say this is a good message though i didn't I, this is just sent literally right now no worry i'm in office these days so uh, panda white is picking itself back up right legally speaking they're back to work they're allowed to be continuing with their processes i am assuming that the worst is true and uh stuff might be gone from the warehouse and that's why the warehouse stuff is going back just to process goods and verify what's there and what isn't and unfortunately some of us might be missing i mean potentially all of our hauls what that means looking forward i don't know uh will panda buy reimburse us would they give us compensation i would sure fucking hope so realistically speaking if panda Buy doesn't refund users for the items that were taken i mean who's going to, co to continue trusting them you know i'm i'm on a contract with them which may, means you might think i'm biased but even from a biased perspective if stuff is gone if stuff is missing and they're not offering refunds for that shit uh, I mean, I wouldn't trust them as a consumer. Who would, you know? If you're ordering something from Amazon and it disappears and then they don't want to give you money back, you're not going to want to order from Amazon again. It, it works in a simple way. Of course, the situation is completely out of Panda Buy's control. It's completely fucked up what has happened. Uh, the authorities being on their ass is obviously not a good time. I can't imagine how the workers feel. These individuals that have families that are trying to make a living being, you know, interrogated or, you know, investigated by police. I'm not sure how the police in China is, but from my understanding, it's not very good. Um, this is a very stressful situation for everyone, but I know that Panda Buy 
it's a very lucrative company. I mean, they're making good margins, they're making a good profit, you know, they're expanding, they've got six warehouses. They should be able to cover for this one time that everything is being taken or stuff is being taken. I'm just saying this is all speculation. I think they should be able to recuperate and reimburse people. Because if I lose half my warehouse and they don't give me that money back, I'm going to be like, you know what, I should have used a different agent or I should have just never bought this to begin with. That's that's my opinion. That's a speculation. Obviously, don't take that as a fact because that's all just what I'm thinking. But surely if they take shit, you know, if the authorities have taken shit, it should be up to Panabai to uh, compensate the users. We never signed up for that, uh, even though there is a bit of a grey area, obviously. I'm just saying, it's a shitty situation. And um, I'd like to add on to this point where Panabai might continue working sometime soon, let's just say a week from now. That doesn't mean sellers will be back. I've had a lot of people asking me about sellers returning and whether our stuff is okay, you know, whether these items that you've bought and ordered uh, that have closed links, whether, whether those items still exist. It's hard for me to say. I mean, this link should be up because it's from an independent seller. So yeah, you see it's still up. But if I click this link, for example, uh, you'll be able to see that it's dead. So it is impossible for me to say what's going to happen to all of these individual products and all of these sellers, because this is all under the control of those sellers specifically. People like Husky, Goat, Hot Dog, this is Budget Shoes. These guys, these companies, I guess you could say, these producers, they will make their own decision on when they want to come back and whether they want to come back. So if you're wanting to order something specific that you've seen around, uh, most of these big sellers are gone. As you can see, some independent sellers are still here. They're still kicking. 37 uh, no ghost or dragon he's still here they're both still here updating and still integrating with the community free madman is closed as i said budget shoes is closed this is all just their own personal choice this is what they're doing for their own safety for their own due diligence they don't want to take any unnecessary risks if panda buy is getting investigated what's stopping the authorities to also chase these sellers as well which is why a lot of these sellers are hiding so as I said, it's impossible for me to know when everyone will be back. That will completely depend on them. All I can say is this is a shit time. We need to be patient. We need to hope that things return back to normal as soon as possible. I mean, fucking, you know, I've got... <laughs> 50 items in the warehouse right now, which I can't ship, they're just stuck. Uh, and also, I'd like to mention another point. If you're worried about any of your item expiring, like you see, I've got two days left here, and you can't top up, and therefore you can't extend storage. Uh, the Panda Buy staff on Discord had said that items will not expire, and that's going to be handled by the tech team or whatever. Don't worry about these countdowns. Just, you know, ignore this. All your items are fine, or whatever's left in the warehouse is fine. Uh, so these countdowns don't really matter. I'll just completely forget about this. But yeah, fucked up situation. And no real official update just yet. Just, you know, processing of goods. So, ah, uh, it's a shitty time. Uh, but as fucked up as it is, I, I appreciate you guys sticking through this with me and uh, joining the Discord server. We've had a huge influx of new users. We're almost on 19k now. Maybe we can hit 20k by the end of April. That would be fucking crazy. Uh, thank you so much for joining this community, talking here, uh, coping with whatever the fuck is being sent because some of this stuff is... Uh... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining the community. Thank you for interacting with me and uh, giving me your time. And, and uh, I do apologize once again for the situation. Obviously, if you joined Panda, why if you started buying from panda buy because of me this kind of falls on my shoulders and i do apologize for that i know i apologize last video as well but i think it's important for you guys to know that i never intended for any of this to happen and uh hopefully panda buy will do what they can to uh give us our money back i think that would be the best best outcome so as i said thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace out